I was putting together a slide presentation one day and I heard myself say in my head, argue for your weakness and you will soon own it. And I sort of say that to myself a lot because everybody's got excuses, but that doesn't make them reasons. And I was doing like this world conference on movement in Edinburgh, Scotland. And I found this old picture of a army guy holding his rifle somewhere between World War II and Korea. And Ed Thomas had sent it to me, showing me that a full deep squat was one of the taught shooting positions of the time. And this guy's just elegantly squatting, ass to grass, in combat boots, and uh, it's no big deal. And it's not like he's holding this squat. He's just effortlessly down there. Well, that's a quick way to get from being a big target to a little target really fast. But the military had so many iterations of people coming through that couldn't deep squat anymore. They just exited as a position without trying to fix it first. And it wasn't a structural problem. It was a functional problem. And if you get somebody who hadn't squatted a lot, you can easily get them back there. The transition is start them on a hill and take it away. So I would like to think that 80% of the people who showed at boot camp that weren't real comfortable in a deep squat, two weeks in, 80, 20 play, I should have had most of those people at least squatting and then they can work on doing it more often after we get them doing it well. But the minute you make the argument for your weakness, you own it and it does soon become who you are and the older you get, the harder it is to change. So don't argue for too much of your weakness without trying to change it first or you'll own it. Thank you.